Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today I'm at Target doing some Hot Wheels peg hunting and then I came down the aisle and looked at the pegs and they are full. It's been pretty empty lately so hopefully there's something good on the pegs. So let's check out what we have here on the pegs and this is new, this is the Aston Martin uh, Vantage and it looks like the D case. And look, there's Snoopy. I haven't seen this in a long time. It's been many years since I seen a Snoopy Hot Wheels. So they're re-releasing this. So if you never got the uh, Snoopy vehicle, it's coming back out in the D case for 2023. And here's a uh, recolor of the Ford Maverick. And then here's a lime green of the RX-7, um, Savannah I RX-7. So I have all the three colors of like red, blue, and uh, white. But I think I'll pass on the green one. I like the other colors. Here's another recolor of the um, 69 Copo Camaro. And there's a fantasy car back there. Here's another Camaro with some graphics all over it. Kind of wild on that. Um, and then next is this Lotus Evija. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's pretty cool. Yep. It's kind of interesting uh, name. And let's see. Keep on moving along. It's one of those brick cars. Uh, Bone Shaker. Couple of those. Oh, this is neat. This is new for 2023. It's a uh, Braille card. I've heard about this. This is a Braille twin mill. And there's like Braille on the packaging out here on the plastic. And it's for like, you know, the people who are blind, they can read with the little dots and stuff. And even on the car, on the back right here on the back, there's a little Braille um, dots on there. And then on the side, if you can see through the plastic, there's also Braille on it. So that's really neat uh, to make it... Um, inclusive for people who are blind they can actually feel the hot wheels and tell what kind of vehicle they're playing with i can't read braille but it's probably going to name the vehicle and stuff and next we have a mazda 78 7878 it's one of those uh, kind of race cars um let's see a couple more vehicles right here and then there's the pagani zonda in a kind of white and black scheme I have the original black one, and I like that one, so I think I'll pass on this white one. Um, here's a, a Corvette Greenwood, and it has like a dragon design in it. It's interesting. Kind of got graphics all over it. And there's a gold Lucid Air. So the first one I think was white. Moving down a row, here's the third recolor of that. Toyota van in the 80s. They are really reusing uh, the color or like the colors for the 80s to put on that vehicle. Um, so it's very interesting to see that van over and over in, in different 80s style uh, colors. And then next is this uh, roller toaster. Very, very interesting. It's peanut butter and jelly. Uh, here's a Ford Transit vehicle with some like a tiger tattoo graphics on the side. It looks like they're doing a lot of um, kind of interesting graphics. And here's a Volvo uh, Gasser vehicle. Interesting. And let's see what else is over here. And here's a Pursuit vehicle. Ooh, this is cool. This is the R32 Skyline. And it has like Godzilla on the side. <laughs> that's neat. I mean, the car is, uh, its nickname is a Godzilla. So that's kind of cool how that graphics. And then next is this clip rod. I haven't seen a clip rod in a long time. It's where you can put like money on that uh, Hot Wheels and hold it. It's like a, you know, like the wallet clip wad, uh, clip uh, things. So they made it into a vehicle. And let's see what else is over here. Uh, here's that Mustang Mach-E, the race version. So that's in a recolor too. It's like a dark blue. Let's see what else is over here. Nothing else. Some fantasy cars. Another one of those Aston Martins. Oh, here's that Ford Thunderbird. I don't know. I think that's supposed to be like a real car. Um, not Don't know too much about it, but some people really want to collect that thing. Um, let's see what else. Oh, here's a uh, McLaren Elva in like gold. So this is another recolor. And there's that Buzz Lightyear vehicle from the movie. Oh, look at here. This is a 80s Cadillac Seville. And uh, it is part of the 80s series. Very classic brown color that you would see like most vehicles in the 80s. So that's uh, unique. 
for that vehicle. And uh, here's a kind of like electric vehicle, I believe, a concept or maybe a fantasy car. I don't know. Um, it looks cool. And then here's that uh, Barbie vehicle. This is, I think, this is the third recolor of that one. Came out like pink and gray and white, I think now. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I've seen a couple of those Barbie vehicles. And let's see what else is over here. Ooh, here's a Batman Forever Batmobile. This is new for 2023, so this is the first release of that Batmobile. So I'm going to grab that because uh, after the first release, they're just going to make all wild colors for the Batmobiles. So I might as well get the original black color of the Batmobile. Um, I don't get all the other vehicle colors of the Batmobile, um, except if it's like a treasure hunt or something like that. Um, let's see what else they have on the pegs. It's not completely full, but these are new vehicles. So I might as well go through here. And here's a... Uh, like BMW 507 convertible classic vehicle. I've never seen it in person and uh, I didn't know that they made something like that in the past, but unique roaster for those who are fans of BMWs. And there's a uh, bus right there. Last row over here in the pegs and that was the Lotus Evija. And there's a Jeep Wagoneer. So that's another 80s vehicle. For those who like Jeeps, another one of those Corvette Greenwoods, uh, Camaro Cobo. Uh, what do you guys think so far of the D case? Um, have you seen anything neat so far? I've been kind of seeing some repeats, but I'm just going to be thorough and go through each every one and see if there's anything because there's usually the one that you really like and it might be hidden behind one of these cars. And uh, let's keep on moving this along. I mean, there isn't a lot to go through. Uh, here's that uh, motorcycle, this uh, Honda Super Club. Let's see. Ooh, this is cool. Another 80s vehicle. So there's a couple 80s vehicles. The 84 Corvette in this kind of gold color with some white stripes. So, yep. For those who love Corvettes, that they're bringing that out. And here's a recolor of the 90 Honda Civic hatchback. And it's in red. I forgot what the other colors are, but I have the other ones, I believe. I think there was a white one. And um, I'm just going to grab that red one because I didn't even see many of them on here. So it might be pretty rare because I only found one so far. And I'm down here on the last of the pegs. Um, so at least I did find the Honda Civic. Um, here's a recolor of the head gasket, like the helmet vehicle. And then let's see. Anything else? Okay, I'm done with the pegs over here. So after I finished looking through all the pegs, I looked around the corner and found a brand new box of Hot Wheels cars. And this box is brand new and fresh. And it looks like nobody's really gone through it. So I'm going to be pretty excited to see if I can find anything good because this is a new case. So I'm going to start pulling these Hot Wheels out of the box and I'll pull three of them at a time. There's that Braille vehicle. So that's really cool for someone who's blind like I showed you earlier. And um, yeah, usually they like to stack like three of them kind of facing each other. So they're like easier to pack. Um, how do you guys usually hold your Hot Wheels when you're like shopping if you don't have a shopping cart? I usually grab them the same way where um, I put them facing back to uh kind of like front to front so that I can hold them um, nice and flat. And uh, I think I'm going to keep on moving these over to the side and move it up to the pegs for the uh, stalkers. Since I found the new box, I'm just going to help them put them on the pegs anyways. Uh, don't make a mess for them. But I just thought I would go through the box and hopefully I can find something good since it's brand new. So I decided to lay the box on the side to make it easier for me to grab out and show you guys the vehicles too. Um, it's almost done on this first layer. Usually these boxes have like 72 vehicles, I believe, in a case. And uh, this is the top half, so that's uh, 36 vehicles that I'm going to go through really quick um, by pulling three of them at a time. You guys can kind of see each and uh, each of them at, th at the um, triple the speed. <laughs> How do you say it? But uh, um, looks like I haven't found anything good on this top layer. Maybe I can find something on the next layer. So... Uh, be patient and I'm going to move these over and put them back on the pegs for them. So looking at the case, it looks like I'm done, but it is separated by this cardboard piece um, from the top layer and the bottom layer. So wish me luck if I can find anything here on the bottom layer. Um, I'm going to keep on moving them out. Oh, I only grabbed two. 
uh, missed the third vehicle. Let's see if I can grab grab it out and make it. Uh, here's the kind of like a uh, pursuit vehicle. Nothing special. Uh, hoping to find a treasure hunt or a super treasure hunt. Um, it's always good to open a brand new case because you're more than likely maybe to find something. I mean, not all cases have a super or a uh, regular treasure hunt. And um, let's see, move that aside. And um, oh, I think this is a treasure hunt. Um, it's almost like you could miss it. I don't really look for planes, like I told you. And that was a treasure hunt. I'll have to show you guys later a closer look of it. But that was the treasure hunt for the D case of 2023. And let's see anything here. I got to make sure I look at the wheels. Uh, sometimes I'm not, um, I forget which one is going to be the super treasure hunt. So I just take a closer look at it. Uh, I just rush into the store and sometimes I just go through Hot Wheels. And you can kind of tell that there is a super treasure hunt when you see the paint job is different or the wheels. Uh, if you look at Hot Wheels enough, you'll see something different and you kind of take a double take and double check again but uh let's see what i don't see anything here and that's the last three right here in the box so after all that peg hunting i put down the camera and did a recheck of all the hot wheels on the pegs and i did miss the other uh treasure hunt the mad props and then this is supposed to be the super treasure hunt the lotus avija um, for the D case and I grabbed all the ones that I could find back on the pegs and show you guys that uh, the wheels are not the one for the uh, super treasure hunt it's supposed to be like many many sporks, uh, spokes instead of like these pie kind of style wheels so I thought I would grab them off the um, pegs and show you guys that I'm gonna you know I ch double checked for you guys that I didn't miss a super treasure hunt and I just thought I would show you guys uh, the normal Evija Lotus. But there is these two uh, man props. And I'm just going to grab one of them and put the other one here on the peg for someone else who is trying to collect the uh, treasure hunts. And I'm not going to get the Evija uh, yet until I find the super. But um, that's cool. I still found a treasure hunt. And, and I did find these other vehicles that I'm going to buy tonight. Um, and the first one is the red 90s Honda Civic hatchback. And I have a couple of those other ones at home. And then here's a Batmobile from the Batman Forever movie. And it's cool looking. It's another Batmobile just to add to the collection. I think there's so many different Batmobiles out there. And then next is the R32 Skyline uh, Godzilla with the Godzilla graphics on the side. Um, this is cool. I, I like that they put the Godzilla on the side. And then here's the uh, Snoopy vehicle. And that's always a classic, uh, you know, for the people who love Snoopy. He's sitting on a doghouse with an engine, like, sitting in front. A <laughs> very fantasy-like vehicle, but very fun. Um, and then the Mad Props. And you can see the flames on the wings is how you can tell that it's a, a treasure hunt. And it does have the text on the back of the card. But I'll do a little bit closer view uh, review of it uh, later on and show you guys the little details on it after I look at it a little bit more. But what do you think of the ones that I found today? Um, is it the ones that you would pick up? Or was there anything on the pegs that you liked that um, you know I should have picked up and you really like it? But uh, remember... Uh, if you like this content, please share, hit the like button, and subscribe. I appreciate you watching, and happy hunting. Be safe out there, and good luck on finding some cool vehicles.